God. And Joshua said, Here by you shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will without, without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, the Perizzites, all the Hites. Verse 11. Behold, the ark of the covenant of God is of all the earth, passes over before you in the judgment. Now, therefore, make you twelve men out of the tribes of Israel, out of every tribe of man. And it shall come to pass as soon as, listen to this, as soon as the souls of the feet of the priests shall dip, the great heart of the Lord of all the earth shall rest in the waters of Jordan, that the waters of Jordan shall come off from the waters and For the waters that come down from above, and they shall stand upon the kingdom. Look at the strategy. Moses, it was a rod. Stretch forth your rod. Joshua, the same challenge, different approach. All based on God's word, based on God's instruction. Let the priest carry the ark. Then enter the water. As soon as they step their feet, this is where many believers get in a place of complacency and stay in a place where they are rich and regimented and little results come. Because you know what? They want the whole God to do everything for them. Listen to me. If you're going to move ahead in life in your Christian work, work about faith, God will need you to participate. Praise the Lord. God will need you to do what? If you want the Lord Jesus Christ, did the miracle in the land of Canaan. First, he said to them, fill the water pot with water. They fill the water pot, fill the water pot, fill the water pot. And then the Lord Jesus Christ said to them, bring out the water now. I am not sure at the time the disciples brought out that water. The water had turned to wine. I'm not sure. He said, behind what did come from? It was at the instance when they handed it over. Pam! Again. That's why sometimes you know God will tell you something, you will pray, you will wait. Has it at the tail end? Has it not going to happen? Something you see, God sure. That has been the pattern. He wants you to participate in every vision he's given you. He wants you to participate in every blessing. Yes, he is the root of all blessings. But he wants your contribution and he's training you for reading. He's training you to also manifest the same kind of faith he's manifested. Praise the Lord. Three things. Very, very important. What miracles happen? Number one, hear from God. Number two, Ask on what the Lord has said to you. Just that made what of Jesus said. Whatsoever he tells you to do, do it. And then the top thing is the Lord meets you at the point you have obeyed the word he's given you. Manifestation comes in. Some other times, like I said, oh, apart from God, you will check with the Lord. You will check with spiritual authority. You take a flight based on your interpretation and something goes wrong. Oh, faith failures. There's nothing like faith failures. If you follow the pattern, you will always get the same result. So when the Bible says, examine your heart if you are not faith, there are two things. One, the faith that was delivered to believers. Bible says we should contend for that faith. Jude chapter 1 verse 3. And then the other one is, have I received anything genuine? Second Timothy chapter, chapter 1, verse 5 spoke about unfeigned faith. So, faith that is unfeigned, that's not pretending. There can be some people who say, Oh, I have, have you been here? Have you been here for me? But if you have from him, and he said, Stand a step of faith, God will always honor that faith. There is something that is very, very clear when the Lord speaks to you and you're so sure. What comes into play is persuasion. 
Bible says Abraham was persuaded, and because he was persuaded, he did not stagger at the promises of my God. So, how does the person who is persuaded speak? No matter what happens, I hold on to God's word. I trust you, and I believe you. That it shall be to me, even as it was told me. How does a person who is persuaded talk to them? When they say, Bible says, what does it say? They cast it down. You will see, there's a little more because you have an inner information, something that's different. You see, even in America, the Lord has had to help me walk on a new level of faith. He has had to help me walk on a new level of faith, even in this land. Until the Lord just cast comes. Walking by faith is one thing you cannot change. And God will not rearrange the Bible because of us. Rather, He will have us rearrange our lives. Light up the Word of God. And so sometimes, in our faith walk, we can ask the Lord what is out of order in our lives. Something that is out of order, out of order help me put it back, help me get in order. It's time you will know people who are somebody who is not walking in faith consistently. It's confusion. Praise the Lord. Bible says the path of the just is like a shining that is a, 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 a path of the just like what? A shining light that shines brighter and brighter than the perfect day. So you were supposed to grow as a Christian. Your path is supposed to get brighter and brighter. When you hear believers, oh, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. It means the person has taken an exit. He's not supposed to take. And when you take an exit, you're not supposed to take that person to the confusion. Because the Bible says, God, our God, is not the author of confusion. He will always guide you. You cannot successfully, successfully, Separate faith from being led by the Spirit. You cannot successfully separate faith from being led by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the author of this book. And He will always put it in your heart what you need at the moment. You know, sometimes you have plans. You have this plans, you have this, you have that. <laughs> and then suddenly the Lord will tell you. Very good plans, but this is what I want you to do. You see, a good idea sometimes is not the God's idea. A good idea sometimes is not the God's idea. I know a man ago who went to Joss, Nigeria. And he liked Joss, likes Joss, and he started talking about how he was going to start his ministry there and all that. And the Lord said to him, I never spoke to you to go to just to make your headquarters with me. He said, That's never spoke to you. He said, No, but I thought I had you. The Lord said, Did you remember when you visited just some years ago and when you were playing table tennis and you admired all the scenery and all that? He said, That made a very strong impression on you. So your mind spoke to you. <laughs> In listening to God, the man who has got that now is positioned in a place that is so big and that. I'm talking about Bishop Oyelibo. Praise the Lord. There is a place for you to be, even the place of faith. There's a place for you. God expects you to stay here. Where am I in Georgia with my family? The Lord spoke to me. There are different states, different states in America. We asked him, where are you taking us? Where am I in this church? The Lord led me. My son confirmed, even before we left, I shall be pastor. So, what am I doing here in America? The Lord has sent me information. That is why I won't do what everybody is doing. Oh, this is what you need to succeed. The person who brought me here has the master to do how to succeed. That was the person trying to pay the price in worship. In praise, in fasting, in spreading the world for him to speak to me. And when I step out of faith, I will see this out. Listen to me. The word of God is supernatural in origin. Yes. The word of God is creative in power. The word of God is a fire in authority. Yes. 
The word of God is inexpressible in value. The word of God is universal in interest. The word of God is personal in application. The word of God is eternal in duration. And the word of God is inspired in totality. This book, this book, the Holy Bible, is the manual for our lives. Everything you want is in this book. Turn the book, listen to the Spirit, and the Lord will help you try on. Shall we open our feet right now? Turn our feet. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Father. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. Thank you. There's a song, a short song that came in my spirit. The choir sang part of it, but this is not a short song. It's a song that testify about the faith God has put in you and who you are in Christ and where you supposed to experience. Listen to the song. I was born to overcome the world. I have a divine destiny. I have a divine destiny to win every battle in life triumphing to the end. I repeat again. I was born to overcome the world. I have a divine destiny. I have a divine destiny to win every battle in life, triumphing to the end. I was born to overcome the world. I was born, I was born to overcome the world. I have a divine destiny now. I have a divine destiny. I have a divine destiny to win every battle in life. I am free to the end. I was born. I was born to overcome. I was born to overcome. I want to give you an opportunity to spread some words in church now. Except you are connected to the Lord Jesus Christ, the message I'm talking about will not benefit you. He said, He has dealt with everyone the measure of faith. So you are here. If Jesus were to come today, you are not sure you make heaven your home. Just please raise up your hand and let me pray with you right now. Hand over the mic. You are here, you are not sure you are born again, you've not received Jesus as your Lord and Pastor Savior. Please raise up your hand right now. Let me just pray with you. Anyone in the congregation? Anyone there? Anyone there? Thank you, Father Lord God, because you're watching. Any person? And so, Lord, I thank you, Lord God, for the Lord for your children. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord God, for the seed you planted in our hearts this morning. I thank you, Lord God, for the Father Lord God, for grace to walk in faith and to walk in submission to the Holy Spirit. I take authority over the spirit of unbelief. I take a touch of the spirit of doubt. I bind that spirit and I break the influence of that spirit off your mind. And I speak to your heart that you are a child of God. You are a man of faith. You are a woman of faith. And your faith will please God. And your faith will bring result for you. We give you thanks, Lord God, for every victory you've given us. We return all the glory back to you. In Jesus' mighty name.